Welcome to Infigyan friends. In this very exciting video of algebraic challenging equations in this series we are going to take up one very interesting radical equation today in this video. Equation is 7th root of x plus square root x square plus 128 plus 7th root of x minus square root x square plus 128 equal to 2. So let's begin this video by considering our substitution. I will consider this very first 7th root as a and this second term I will consider as b. Now once I will consider these substitution then I can easily write a power 7 would be x plus square root x square plus 128 and similarly I can write b power 7 also x minus square root x square plus 128. Now I will add both the equations to collect a power 7 plus b power 7. So a power 7 plus b power 7 is equal to 2x plus and minus square root term will be over. So this is our equation number 1. Now if I will take the product of both that means a power 7 times b power 7 then I will write the very first bracket x plus square root x square plus 128 one bracket and second bracket I will write x minus square root x square plus 128. Now you can see it is a plus b a minus b form. So we can write difference of two squares a square minus b square. So a square is x square minus this square will be x square plus 128. That means this value is coming out minus 1 to 8 which is minus 2 raised to the power 7. So left hand side we have got AB whole power 7. Right hand side we have got minus 2 raised to the power 7. So AB will come out minus 2. By comparing both sides, once exponents are same, base must be equal to each other. Now the very first equation, this equation we will call equation number 2. And very first equation we can frame which is already after substitution a plus b equal to 2. So let us consider this is our equation number 1. Equation number 1 I will write a power 7 plus b power 7 equal to 2x and third equation is the product of a and b this is minus 2. So I will use these basic system of equations for our equation simplification or equation solving. So let's write now Pascal triangle. So I will write first of all first let me write here Pascal triangle because of we are trying to find out a power 7 plus b power 7 that value let me write one time that equation equal to 2x. Next equation was a plus b equal to 2 and third equation was a b equal to minus 2. Now let me write this triangle first, Pascal triangle. 1, 2, 1, power 2. 1, 3, 3, 1, power 3. 1, 4, 6, 4, 1, power 4. 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1, power 5. 1, 6, 15, 20, 15, 6, 1, power 6. And last power is power 7. So I will write 1, 7, 21, 35. 35, 21, 7, 1. Now our concern with this power 5 and power 7. So we will use both. So one by one I will consider. Let me write first of all a plus b whole power 7. So I will write a plus b whole power 7. Let us expand using this. See I am not writing full expansion. I will write directly in terms of common coefficient. You can see this is common and see both are common. So I will write in this, that aspect. Last term is a power 7 plus b power 7. So let me write a power 7 plus b power 7. Then I will consider 5, 7 times. Our coefficient is 7. So 7 times, uh, let me write here a power 6 b plus a b power 6. Done. Now 21. 21 I will consider decrease the exponent of a 5b square plus a square 
b power 5 21 is done now what is left 35 so let me write 35 here decrease one more power of a so i will write a power 4 b cube plus a cube b power 4 done now you can see if i will take let me write once again a power 7 plus b power 7 i will take a b common so i will write a b in bracket it is a power 5 plus b power 5 that's why i said to you this coefficient will be useful little later for power 5 plus 21 if i will take a square b square common then in bracket i will write a cube plus b cube and in last bracket you can see it is 35 once i will take a cube b cube common it will be left within the bracket a plus b now you can see we know most of the terms but we do not know a cube plus b cube this value and a power 5 plus b power 5 rest of all we are knowing everything here i can put a plus b equal to 2 this is a b whole cube so minus 2 whole cube knowing a b we are knowing that is minus 2 a b whole square this term is also known so only two terms we have to evaluate a cube plus b cube and a power 5 plus b power 5 so let us find out a cube plus b cube first so i can write a cube plus b cube formula we are aware of a plus b a square plus b square minus a b in next step i can write a plus b this term i can write a plus b whole square minus 3ab you can check a square plus b square plus 2ab minus 3ab so minus ab now i will put the value a plus b is a plus b is 2 so i will put over there 2 let me write here 2 in bracket a plus b whole square so 2 whole square 4 minus 3 times ab is minus 2 done so it is 2 times 4 plus 6 so it is coming out 20 so this is very very important result here we will put little later now our job is to find out a power 5 plus b power 5 let us find out that one also i will write a power 5 plus b power 5 this is our target now let me expand or let me find out or let me write this expansion a plus b whole power 5 so i can write see our coefficients are 1 5 10 10 5 so that we are knowing so let us apply directly i will write taking coefficient common a power 5 plus b power 5 then i can write 5 common then it would be a power 4 b plus a b power 4 then we'll have coefficient 10 1 5 10 10 5 1 so 10 i will write a cube b square then we can write a square b cube now you can see a plus b we will put 2 a times b we will put minus 2 this set of equation we are aware of we are having this one and then we have to find out this so let me write this value 2 power 5 a power 5 plus b power 5 we have to find out 5 times if i will take a b common here so i can write in bracket a cube plus b cube and once i will take a square b square common from here i can write in the bracket a plus b let's find out this value from this equation one this equation given 2 power 5 is 32 2 power 4 is 16 2 power 5 is 32 equal to a power 5 plus b power 5 now 5 times a b a b is minus 2 a cube plus b cube we have just calculated it was let me write here 20 so i will put directly here 20 then 10 times a b whole square so i will write minus 2 whole square and a plus b is 2 so i will write here 32 then a power 5 plus b power 5 then i will write here minus 200 5 times 2 is 10 10 times 20 200 minus sign will be there this term minus whole square so plus will be there so i will write here 80 
So from here directly I will write a power 5 plus b power 5 will be 120 plus 32. So answer will be 152 for a power 5, b power 5. Now path is clear. Now only we have to write the expansion of a plus b whole power 7 and now every term is knowing. So let me write here the expansion of a plus b whole power 7. So one more time I have to write whole power 7 is equal to a power 7 plus b power 7 then coefficient 1, 7, 21, 35 and again it is repetitive. So I will write 7ab in bracket a power 5 plus b power 5 then I will write 21 a square b square then in bracket I will write a cube plus b cube and then our coefficient is 35 a cube b cube common in bracket a plus b only need to put all the values correctly so let us put a plus b so i will write 2 2 raised to the power 7 a power 7 plus b power 7 it was 2x if you can see you can check a power 7 plus b power 7 let me put little later plus 7 a b minus 2 a power 5 plus b power 5 we have just cal calculated 152 plus 21 a b is minus 2 so minus 2 whole square a cube plus b cube we have calculated 20 35 minus 2 whole cube a b is minus 2 so whole cube a plus b is 2 now let's 2 power 7 is 128 let's put the value this value is 2x we have calculated equation number 1 this was the very first equation now 7 times this value will be 2000 28 2128 with negative sign now if you will write 21 times minus 2 square so it number would be positive 1680 last time if you will check this will give us minus 560 so only we have to sum up our answer will be there so 2x if i will simplify then it would be minus 2688 plus 1680 minus 2128 minus 560 is 2628 with negative sign in next step if i will simplify i will write minus 1008 left hand side is 128 so 2x will be equal to 1136 dividing both sides by 2 i will write my answer 568 i hope this video is meaningful to you do not forget to like share and subscribe bye bye till next video good luck jai shri ram